Hi, this is uh, Sam Malisetti. I'm from Dallas, Texas. I've been playing carom for over 20 years. I am a two-time US national champion. I've been teaching carom to school children for uh, over a couple of years. See you at one of the carom trainer lessons soon. Bye. Hi there. This is Sam Malisetti again. I am excited to introduce to you our Karam Training 101 lesson series. Uh, in this lesson, I will give you a brief overview. Goal of the lesson is uh, to help you uh, understand our uh, training series and the goals of our lessons, target audience uh, for the lessons, general expectations from each other, the trainer and the learner, and the overall structure. The time commitment from you is expected to be 30 to 60 minutes. So who is our target audience? Players who are completely new to Carom. So if you are that, you are in the right place. Uh, or you have, you, have, you have been playing Carom, but you still are at a beginner level. So this is also for you. And uh, those players who are experienced but haven't played in a long time, and, uh, and uh, previously they were recreational level players and this is also for you. Uh, we present a series of over 40 lessons in a progressive manner to build your carom skill so that a beginner level player may rise to the intermediate level player by the end of the lessons. Our lessons will use a learner-centered participative approach. What that means is that you, as the learner, are going to be the driver of the, the learning process. It is uh, going to be uh, self-paced, based on each learner. They may spend more time or less time. They may do more research and come back. They may do more exercises. Uh, and uh, what participative means is that we show you the way and uh, you do the walking. Each lesson will focus on a specific skill. Um, each, you know, in each lesson, a trainer uh, will show a few demos uh, exhibiting that skill and will uh, prescribe a few exercises. At the end of each lesson, we also may give a quiz or a test, you know, based on the skill uh, to, so that you can determine if you have made enough progress and that you can move on to the next lesson. Each lesson may have uh, several elements. Usually it's a video, but it may also contain photos, written text, slides, such as this, diagrams, references, or, or links. Here is a quick overview of the lessons we are uh, planning. Uh, these are indicative. So the first set is for a complete, uh, uh, completely new player. We show them the carom terminology, how to set up the equipment so you can get started playing. And, uh, and then we move on to the next level, which is uh, what are the various grips that are possible and how do you choose a right grip for you? And, uh, and, the, and then the basic elements of aiming, releasing the striker, basic strokes um, and then we move on to what you see on the right side which are more advanced uh, strokes so each one we are keeping it at a simple level so we are not aiming to aiming this for advanced uh, players um, we have included also if you are a recreational player and you have reached an intermediate level and you want to participate in tournaments so we have included uh, some lessons so how you can uh, we show you how you can transition to competitive carom and how you may prepare for a tournament and we even explain to you the swiss round robin league system which is typically used in tournaments in north america and, and europe and, and sometimes used in asia also uh, overview of uh, our entire carom training 101 lesson series and uh, because this is an overview, our exercise is going to be very simple and it's going to be fun. Uh, so we recommend that you watch a few actual carom matches 
YouTube has thousands of videos of tournament matches. And, uh, you know, you may watch uh, uh, any of the uh, tournament matches, but uh, just as an example, uh, I recommend uh, watch uh, Prashant More, the current world champion, Louis Fernandez, North America champion, and uh, Pierre Dubois, uh, Europe champion. So three of them have three different styles. Uh, you don't have to watch the entire matches because uh, they may take longer time. For example, a set may take 15 to 45 minutes uh, typically, and a match, which is the best of three sets, may take 30 minutes to even up to two hours. So I recommend at least watch 10 minutes of each match. And when you have completed the exercise, you may proceed to lesson two, Karam terminology. Okay, see you at the next lesson.